This is my finishing station. I have two bags here. One bag here for the brushes and one bag here for the cloths. These are older cloths. Once I am done with them, I just leave them there. This is the one I use today. There are room for two more cloths here and here. When this bag is full, I discard it. The brush goes in the bag here. I have used these two corners and this spot here. There are only five spots for the brushes, the fifth one going in the center here. This keeps the brush and the rag clean and damp and ready to use all day. I can finish many pieces in one day. When I take the top off my finish, I put it on a slight angle so that it can drain down to one side. I then dump it into the can like this. After the last coat of finish for the day, I blow in the can until I can feel the warm air touch my cheeks. Then I close it like this. I then put it on the floor and step on it to make sure that it is firmly sealed. I store the can until I need it again upside down. This keeps the oxygen in the can to a minimum and allows me to use the entire can of finish. I take off my gloves and I put them here. These are the ones that I'm going to use next time. I turn them inside out this way and make them pop. If they don't pop, then there is a hole and I can replace the glove. I have a third pair of gloves that are ready to use in case I spot something that needs a quick touch-up. This means I don't have to use the pair that are ready for the next session. All my suppliers are listed on the links button on the studio drop-down menu on my website, which is included in the description of this video.